So I hope y'all doing great on this morning. Just want to go ahead and jump right into it. So this video is based off chapter seven, of my book B, Be the Head, You Are Redeemed. And I talked about how sometimes we put down our dreams and goals and things that we desire to do in life because of what life has dealt to us. Certain circumstances, situations that came to our life and we think that those things are like barriers and obstacles and we really can't reach the goals that we want to reach or be the type of person they want to be. But you have to learn how to work what's been dealt to you because all of that has a purpose in your life and you need to know what to do uh, when certain things come to you, um, certain things, certain struggles you're trying to break free from, knowing that you can't overcome that, you can make something out of your life and you don't have to allow it to be like an excuse or anything to stop you from doing what you dream of doing. I am in my early 30s and realizing that life is actually fair. Life deals out both good and bad to everyone. We were never promised that our life would be about pain, but we also are not about the tools needed to navigate through it. God do amaze me when it comes to working things together. It does not matter what happened in our lives. He still knows how to turn it into something beautiful. He is not intimidated by our setbacks and tragedies. He is not threatened by our successes and he desires us to prosper. So why is it hard to see past the things that have been dealt to us in life? Are we really satisfied with the journey that has been assigned to us? This is something that I have personally struggled with because I tend to ignore the beautiful lessons that comes from my negative experiences. I overlook the wisdom from them because of pain. And I believe the issue comes down to our perspective. How do we see being raised in a broken home? Or how do we process a layoff or financial trouble? And my perspective, you know, does determine my progress. And of course, you know, we all feel like, well, not all of us. Some of us do feel like we're owed something um, from the pain that we went through. And I do believe you are owed something. And what you are owed is healing. And I'm not being sarcastic when I say that. God can restore our lives and redeem us from horrific and dreadful situations. It can be hard to get to that point if I do not go through the process of releasing the horror and the pain. It is like an artist coming up with a new piece of artwork. Let's say he does not have all the paint he needs to finish his project. Now, he could complain and quit the project, run to the store to get the paint, or work with what he already has to come up with a beautiful masterpiece. And let me relate those possible outcomes back to life. We can complain about what went wrong in our lives, who did what, and how unfair things are until we are just floating through life with no purpose. Complaining and blaming do not produce results. Or we can go after materials we think we need to see that life. I do agree we need to educate ourselves in areas that we lack in and work through necessary steps to accomplish certain goals. But that does not mean use our limitations as excuses. Sometimes we can be so focused on what we think we need and end up procrastinating on forward movement because we are waiting for a come up or a helping hand. So work your hand, work with the cards that have been dealt to you by life, and you're going to see that beautiful success that comes from that. Um, so this is all I wanted to say on this morning. I hope I said something that is helpful to y'all. Um, leave a comment, um, share your thoughts, what you think, and y'all have a great morning.